G'day, I'm Enzo. And I'm Jules. Uh, we are the producers behind the tunnel, uh, which is going to be our first feature. So uh, we decided to take this one down a bit of a, a different route, um, and really not too sure how it's all going to turn out. But um, we decided to film pretty much as much as we can along the way, um, however long this thing takes, and yeah. see what happens. Should be fun. Just the amazing nature of guerrilla filmmaking is you never know where you're going to be or what you're going to get. And on that day, we got the Prime Minister. Day one, and that was just day one. We have just pushed the website live, um, and it's just starting to spread. And when it really comes off, when it really works, that's a real buzz. That was just our production designer, Katie. Her and her uh, assistant have noticed some stuff in the corner of our location that they think actually we're pretty sure um, is asbestos. We really knew we had one, one shot of that one um, and we had to get it right. It really started a couple of years ago, probably about three or four years ago when myself and Enzo finally, well, we sat down and we basically decided that we wanted to make a film. Um, and then over, t over time we had a couple ideas we threw around which fell by the wayside in the tunnel um, and this story of this news crew became what we wanted to make. And I guess the way we looked at it was if we're going to take a gamble with the whole film, which is really what the traditional path is anyway, if we're going to take a gamble we may as well take it on our terms. Um, and that's sort of kind of when we turned to this 135k idea. So the 135K project involves basically selling off each frame of the film individually at a dollar each in order to raise the budget to make the film. My first reaction to the 135K project was we're, you know, we're not making excuses for ourselves. We're, this means we're actually going to shoot a film. I actually thought they were crazy. I always thought the story was pretty good. It was just such a skeleton sort of setup, and and these guys like, we're selling frames on the internet. I'm like, oh, fuck it, hell. Well, I thought that uh, this is an experiment. So the question of will it work, really I don't know. It was, it was definitely thinking outside the box, as people say, and it could connect with the audience from word go before you'd even started the film, which I thought was brilliant. The future of the internet, media, file sharing in many ways rests on this film because this is the first film that is doing it in such a way that is possibly commercially viable. And then it's slowly coming to fruition and they're a bunch of smart asses. Like they've, you know, it's really unique the way they've approached it and the way they've done it. And um, yeah, they win. 